Welcome to Medical Fitness Pros. We are currently studying Healthy Aging Month, the month of September. So we are focusing on issues that can help you age very, very well. We want to help you here at Medical Fitness Pros. The topic for today is what are top three ways to fight osteoporosis? Those top three categories are going to fall under nutrition, lifestyle, and exercise. I'm here with Jason Hodge. He's going to give us some information on those top three ways to fight osteoporosis. Jason, what can our audience do with their diet now to help fight osteoporosis? With osteoporosis, um, it doesn't be overcomplicated when it comes to nutrition. Uh, taking in things like your calcium, your vitamin D, uh, getting out in the sun some, uh, taking in your fruits and vegetables, have your nutrients in there, all those things are going to be important. Uh, it's not like it's going to um, just suddenly create a huge growth in bone, but it's, it's one of those things you just do the little things necessary to take care of your health for your body. Okay, and that's something important to be reinforced all the time for us. What are some everyday habits that are important? I think one of the big things is looking at your posture and make sure that you're standing up straight, that you're uh, sitting straight, you know, if you're in a chair or on a computer, that you're really doing the things necessary to uh, just have a good healthy posture. Um, taking care of the spine the best you can in everyday activity. I mean, you're sitting in a chair or a desk or whatever it may be for hours a day. Those types of things are important that you're, you're taking care of the basics as far as not stressing the spine incorrectly. Can specific exercises be beneficial to those who are trying to fight off osteoporosis? They found there's certain exercises that are more beneficial than others. Um, things that, you know, if you think about where osteoporosis is normally found, you're looking at the hips, the spine, those types of places. And so when you're d doing your exercise program, you want to include components that, that do stress those areas and that do create um, a force on those areas in order to, uh, to add to the bone, to give it a chance to kind of fight a little bit. The uh, things you're going to do are work on things for the for instance, rowing, uh, doing rows or doing chest presses, um, pushing and pulling exercises, things that are going to help with the hips. So it may be, uh, maybe that's a squat of some type or a leg press, things that stress the leg and the, the hip joints so that um, there is a pull on the bone structure as you do it. Okay. Well, on the opposite side of that, though, I think some of our audience might be worried about what could hurt them, especially if they've been diagnosed with osteoporosis. Are there any warning signs, anything that they should avoid? Well, when it comes to osteoporosis, if you've already been diagnosed with osteopenia or osteoporosis, you do have to be careful a little bit with that and, and not jump into things too fast. Where I'd like to see somebody uh, doing heavier weights eventually in a lower repetition uh, type movement um, or type exercise, you don't start off that way when you're first diagnosed, if you, especially if you haven't been doing any kind of exercise program previously. So the key is to start slow, work with where you are, um, begin building the strength up, and then as it gets better, you can increase the weight, uh, decrease the number of reps, and just keep a more stress onto the body uh, as time goes on. But the key is to start where you are and not overstress the body too quickly. Fantastic. Well, I think these are some great tips to help you fight off osteoporosis. Make sure and let medical fitness pros help you to age healthy and come in and see us. We want you to see our facility. Happy September and happy healthy aging month.